Anything that I put up here is going to affect right here. It's going to affect my life. And whatever I put up here and I allow to reach here eventually comes out of me. Hi everyone, it's Elaine Beck. Today I'd like to talk to you about what you read. Yep, it's a great subject. You know, I went through a time in my life, like every woman, at some time we, we read things called, um, oh, I think they're called um, love stories. <laughs> These little books about, you know, the, the, the prince coming into your life kind of stories. And I think that um, a lot of people read fiction, fantasy of different kinds. Um, I'm, I've never been one with the fantasy because I learned a long time ago. Um, God showed me that anything that I put up here is going to affect right here. It's going to affect my life. And whatever I put up here and I allow to reach here eventually comes out of me. And it's sort of like the old saying, you are what you eat. Well, that's true. People we've proven over the years, people get very unhealthy and sick when they eat the wrong things. Well, if we feed our brains and our minds and our hearts um, things that are mean or hateful or anger or um, just, you know, wicked things, if we feed that into our brain, eventually it's going to come out. Sadly enough, there's a lot of children in this country that you know, are raised in homes where there's anger and, and um, unkindness all the time. And, and they, that's what they know. And so, you know, they become the bully in the class sometimes, or they're the ones that tragically, you know, just have a hard time expressing themselves or doing well in school. Um, so, you know, those things happen, but it's about what we take into our brain that can cause so much, whether it's by example from parents like that, or good parents, loving parents. You know, you can have wonderful loving parents, but if you're reading things and, and watching things that are full of hate and anger, you can take that in too. And so I wanted to talk to you about what you read because there's really a gazillion books out there. Now, I know that's not a real word, but I use it all the time because it means more than you could ever count. But there are, there's just too many numerous types of books and books out there to ever mention. But there's really only one book that's valid, truthful, um, has everything in it you need to know. It's like a recipe for life book. It's a good news book. You know what I'm talking about, the Bible. And, um, you know, I know a lot of you have never read it or you've only read snippets or you've heard about it. You've uh, gone to church and a pastor got up and explained different things to you about it or read some scripture and then gave a view on it. The truth is, though, that everything that's in there God brought to light through others that wrote it down and through his son coming uh, here and living as a man on this earth who died and rose again and lives forever. And that's what we all know as Christians. Those of you that aren't Christians, I challenge you today that you pick that book up. No, okay, I, I'm... I know it's, it's like 15, 1600 pages long, but I challenge you just to pick it up and go to the New Testament, it's in the back of the book, and read the book of John, because the book of John is, is the book of the Bible that we all know um, is really sort of the foundational book that tells us about um, God sending his son and his love for us and the fact that he gave his life for us so that we can live through eternity. 
And so I challenge you just to read that one book because when you do, you know, it's an opportunity for you to just get a little idea of what it is that God has to offer you. Why our creator says that he made this world for all of us and why Jesus came to die for us so that we can all live in eternity. See, we're all given that choice. Nobody forces us. It's what we call freedom in this country is to have choices, right? Well, God gave us a choice and, and we have that choice. So I hope and pray today that you will remember that, you know, there's a lot of books out there. You can read forever. You can find books that are comedy or serious or mysteries or, and I encourage you to enjoy life and enjoy other books. But I'm going to tell you right now that there is one book that if you miss that book, if you never read it, you could be making a choice to never know what it's like to live in eternity, to never know what it is to live where there is no more tears or no more heartache or no more sorrow, to live with the creator. And I just, I just can't tell you enough about, you know, I heard a pastor say this and, and it's so true. Once you give your life to Christ, you know you're going to heaven. You ask me how? You know because you've connected with Him. When you make that personal connection, there'll never be another doubt in your mind about what's going to happen and that you're going to live forever and have eternity. So get the book. Start with John. If you don't like it when you're done, you've made your choice. But I challenge you to get that book. And if you let us know that you'd like to have a Bible, I will send you one for free. And you can pick it up and you can read just that little bit in there. And then you choose how much more you want to know. Because once you start knowing him, you'll want to know more. God bless you and have a great day. Oh.